last night I was doing the dishes and I was hand washing my favorite mug and it slipped out of my hands and smashed into a glass in the sink and it broke. I was very sad. Normally when things like this break, I'm like, oh well, you know, it was its time. But this one I was really sad about. First of all, because it was a gift from somebody who's really special to me and also because it's very beautiful and I love drinking tea out of it. It's, it's a very substantial mug. So when I want like a nice big steaming hot cup of tea, I use this and it broke. And I, I know I could glue it back together. There's some little smaller shards that I kept. However, I know myself and any time I have kept a broken piece of pottery with the intention of putting it back together and doing that whole wabi-sabi thing, it hasn't happened. So I want to trust that it probably won't happen this time either. However, as luck would have it, this weekend is the Weaverville Art Safari in North Carolina, Western North Carolina, where I live. And I knew there would be a lot of beautiful pottery there. And I thought, what a good opportunity to get some special pieces. And I did. So I thought I would share some of those pieces with you. This is the first one I fell in love with. It's obviously not as big as the one that I broke, and I didn't find one that was that big or that shape, but that's okay. I love how this feels in my hands. It has these grooves that feel really nice for the fingers to rest in, and the colors are just very exquisite. It reminds me of, of the earth. It's glazed on the inside. So this is from Magnum Pottery, Main Street, Weaverville. So I'm holding it and I decide, okay, this is the one I want. They had so many, but then I, I, was, I imagined someone coming over for tea and wanting to drink out of this mug. And I thought, well, it needs a partner so we can both have a beautiful mug. <laughs> So I got this one and I love this one because it reminds me of the ocean. So they're partners and somebody can come over for tea and we can both drink out of beautiful pottery. So I got those two thinking I was probably done with pottery, but then I meandered to a different group of artists to see what they were up to and I found this. And I just couldn't resist. This is Rosa Friedrich's ceramics. And she had so many beautiful pieces. I really had a hard time picking what I wanted. And it came down to this one and another little mug with figs on the outside. And ultimately I decided on grapefruits. Her pieces are quite expensive, so I couldn't really get a partner for this one yet. But in the future, I will. It's, uh, it's a nice size mug for me. If I drink coffee, I don't drink a lot of it. So this is perfect for like a little shot of espresso and some warm milk and I just love holding it. It's so pretty. It makes me happy. So I was very happy to have this beautiful mug and also to support the artist. And then found this beautiful t-shirt. I just love Birds of Paradise. So I thought this was a beautiful print. And the artist who made it also had beautiful paintings However, um, I wasn't in the market to buy a painting. I got her card. I can't remember her name. Her name is Mallory Knuckles Fine Art. 
Yeah, really beautiful stuff. I did, um, I saw some fine art prints that I liked and I considered buying, but I'm also on such a painting kick right now. I just thought, you know, I can make something better, honestly. <laughs> So I didn't buy any art prints, but I'm really happy with the pieces that I did get. And it's always wonderful to chat with local artists and see what they're up to and of course to support their work. 